Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to carry out one sample t-test in our studio. The video will include Brief description of t-test Example data set Performing one sample t-test in our studio When mean and standard deviation of population are not known The sampling distribution of means determines the expected values of mean and standard deviation T-distribution is usually used for limited sample size while Z distribution is usually appropriate for a large sample size. As the sample size increases the sampling distribution of means becomes a normal distribution. To test whether the sample mean is statistically different from a population mean is called a t-test. t-test is computed by the given equation. Let's perform this analysis in our studio. For example, if a researcher wants to determine whether the pulse rate of long-distance runners differ from that of other athletes. He randomly sampled eight different long-distance runners. He measured the resting pulse rate. If the average pulse rate of athletes in general population is 60 beats per minute, the null hypothesis would be mu equal to 60. The alternate hypothesis would be mu not equal to 60. He wants to test this hypothesis at 5% level of significance. First we shall create a plot to see whether the sampled data is normally distributed or skewed. Use PAR function to set a query of graphical parameters. Tie argument is set to S to force the plot in square shape. Use mean and SD function to calculate mean and standard deviation of the data set. D norm function gives height of the probability distribution at each point for a given mean and standard deviation. Normal distribution plot is produced using plot function. Data is the values of the given data set. DIST shows the density for the normal distribution. For type argument specify the line type by setting L as the argument. Color specify the color of the line. To perform t-test first load the stats package by using require function. Use t.test function for one sample t-test. X argument specify the data set. Set two sided for alternative as the hypothesis formulated is two tailed. Mu represents the population mean. The average pulse rate for the general population is 60 beats per minute. Set the value for confidence interval at 0.95 in case you are testing at 95% confidence level. The results show that the t-test value is negative 3.09 with 7 degree of freedom. As the probability value is lower than 0.05, it shows there is significant difference between sample and population mean indicating that the null hypothesis is rejected. This means that the pulse rate of sampled long-distance runners is lower than the pulse rate of general athletes. The confidence interval at 95% confidence level is 45.89 and 58.11. If you are testing at 99% confidence level then set the value for confidence level at 0.99. You can see there is no difference except the confidence interval values. Suppose we have to test the hypothesis that the long-distance runner's pulse rate is lower than the general population. For this we shall formulate one-sided null and alternate hypothesis. In t.test function set the alternative argument to greater than 60 beats per minute. t.test value remains the same. Probability value is higher than 0.05 indicating the acceptance of the null hypothesis. This also means that the pulse rate of long-distance runners is lower than the general population. In t.test function set the alternative argument to less than 60 beats per minute. t.test value remains the same. Probability value lowered further to 0.0087. This indicates there is highly significant difference regarding the statement of null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is thus rejected. This also means the pulse rate of long-distance runners is not greater than the general population. I hope this video will help you to understand how to carry out t-test distribution using our program. Please comment below if you have any questions.